Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you made it. This is what you get tonight. Oh, fantastic. All right. <laughs> I mean, get. your shirt matches my face, so I guess that's something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is uh, Season 11, Episode 12. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. Um yeah 2023 how did that even happen just in a blink of an eye um for more now i can say more than 10 years Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, this has been your wednesday night conversation uh welcome to let's have a fifi i am felicia fifi minor out of face out of mind Um, (laughs) i'm a little more put together this evening um and i'm still freddie prince charming i don't know if our video is having issues on the facebook i'm trying to watch it and it doesn't seem to be i could just be new year eddie omega it's fine oh i guess it's fine and i still can't see the chat on this thing why can't i see the chat on here Uh, i don't know Uh, i'm not technical support why, um, why aren't you technical support? <laughs> um, I feel like you should be and, technical support. Um, <laughs> speaking of such, uh, you can get exclusive content <laughs> on Patreon. We've been posting like nonstop. So if you're not catching up on what we're putting down, then that's your fault. Because um, we have a lot more exclusive content that um, we're not posting on Facebook. We're not posting on all those others. Um, maybe we post something on Patreon first before we post it anywhere else. Um, maybe we say things like give show details in the Patreon mm-hmm. instead of you having to guess. Um, mm-hmm. But anyhow, you get exclusive Patreon content at patreon.com slash let's have a Fifi. We'd like to thank our patrons, Brandon D. Drake Jensen, Casey Starr, Carrie and Corey, Kim, Joan, Leanne, Nicole, and Shannon. And a special thanks to our, you know, our sponsors this uh, uh, this semester. Uh, this wow. <laughs> season. <laughs> well, Ooh, um, so that's where our head is. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, Special thanks to Success Boutique, uh, LC Designs, and Wigs of a Kind for supporting us. Uh, you can donate to us um, at paypal.me slash let's have a fee fee. Um, you can also um, get text alerts that I am still being really bad at. But people keep texting me and asking when the next show is. So that's awesome. Because uh, you can two-way text on it. It's not just me sending announcements to you. Um, I would help you... out with that, but I don't have access to that. So that's all um, I don't know how saying. to give you access to that. I, I to barely do. even get on it. Uh, but text <laughs> LHAF to 602-730-7379. Um, and then if you're on Facebook, give all the stars, honey. Give all the stars. You can give us all the stars. For 99 stars, you can support a drag artist named Freddie Prince Charming and Felicia Minor. Um, thanks to all the folks um, like DJ Image, Eddie Omega, Laura Renfro, and more who have sent us upwards of 500 stars. Yes. I think the number's higher than that when I checked the last time. But uh, Yeah. <laughs> I know our podcast numbers definitely went up. <clears throat> I know. That's kind of exciting. I'm not mad about it. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. You have so, uh, for the texting? For the texting or for um, Patreon? Send me a message on Facebook and I will, I think I can add you. Um, so I just want to, before we get started on this show, I want to give everybody a heads up, um, and plenty of time as we roll into <laughs> Weekend Recap and for the tip... Um, that if you are offended uh, by things like fake penises, underwear, and pictures of me in underwear, please go ahead and move along. Um, again, warn your children. 
right if you have kids in the room just know that these are fa- they're, we're not dealing with like sex toys really though this evening so just j- uh, there's going to be some show and tell happening <laughs> gonna give everybody a head <laughs> before like we get into the tip and everybody's like oh my god what the fuck are we doing so Cassandra you are not offended by everything get out of here there's your warning Yes, D. Yeah, I already picks. told you that I took those pics because I have a camera with a selfie mode, so it's fine. Thanks for your help. And also, happy <laughs> birthday to my partner. Yay! A lot of birthdays. Who had the inconvenience of having a birthday on a Wednesday, which is just a really, really bad day to I'm so sorry. have a birthday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we could have canceled. We have, well, yeah, but we get kids party. and stuff. Like, it's a mess. Like, it's, it's Wednesdays oh. are just rough. We had lunch, yeah. and we're going to do some stuff this weekend, so. Oh, okay. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy, oh, look at all the love on there. Look at. Okay, she had to eat a quesadilla for dinner because I was like, well, let me just make, you know, whatever, and spaghetti or something. And she was like, no, I don't want spaghetti. So there was no food because she explicitly told me not to cook. Oh. Now she's goodness. complaining that she had to eat a quesadilla for dinner. Look at all these birthday wishes, though. Mm, see, look, you fill up on that. <laughs> How was your what? weekend, Felicia? But you also forgot it was my birthday. Who forgot? Okay, not really. I knew when your birthday was. It didn't occur to me that it was today. The fourth was a Wednesday. Still, it's, uh, it's whatever. That would be my fault because I kind of schedule us. So maybe I forgot. <laughs> You're fine. She's you're fine. She's fine. I when it came to, to f- oh, I don't cook your food. No, sorry. She That's said no. So <laughs> this is going hardcore. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. You know what I think? I think that not anybody can say that they were talked about on a podcast on their birthday. This is true. See, shout out, birthday shout out on like a podcast Woo-hoo. that has like 7,000 like downloads. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Don't say I didn't uh, give you anything. Uh, well, <laughs> speaking of not giving you anything. Um, so oh. I... <laughs> was so my christmas shopping was a little behind because and it's still a little behind because of i have a lot of things going on here um so i uh, every year i replace the calendar in our kitchen so that we know what's going on though most of the time people don't know what's going on so i roll across this wall calendar and i was like no fucking way <laughs> and so, <laughs> so knowing my luck i took a chance on amazon and thought if it if they sent him the wrong calendar i can't can't do anything about oh. it but anyway but uh i forgot to text you and tell you that it was coming and yeah. uh, then i scrolled through facebook and i was like oh shit <laughs> Ah, so is it a dad joke every day? Oh my god. That's why D wants to kill me so bad. Every day. (laughs) What's today's dad joke? Uh, A special one for her birthday. Um... (sighs) So it's not a good one. Completely unrelated. I was thinking of of getting a new haircut, but I, I kind of need to mull it over. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> and if you join us at Sex Trivia, um, you are no stranger <laughs> to these jokes at all. Uh, they'll just be new ones in the in the in the running now. We're like, who the fuck sent this? Like, we're like, what is this? And what? <laughs> oh, so um, if you're on my list, um, I was trying to think of what to get D, but 
Maybe I'll just get her case. I mean, to be fair, or... that's really the only actual Christmas present that I got this year. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, I, it's, but it's fine. Oh my God. It's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all got me. The sliding door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> fine. Guess who's eating quesadillas for the rest of the week? <laughs> uh, she'll let you in the cook. Right. <sighs> right. <laughs> uh huh. Well, now uh, you the have kids will be you... mad because they'll all be hungry. So, <laughs> mom's cooking. Oh no! What did you do? <laughs> oh shoot! Okay. Uh, so that was uh, a bittersweet moment for my weekend. <laughs> you can lock the kids out too. <laughs> that drag room is going to be awfully crowded. No, 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 oh. no, no. They can sleep on the on the chairs out there. That's, oh, God. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, <sighs> uh, I just want you all to know that D has threatened to buy my grandchildren drums, too. So, um, it wasn't it was meant to bring you joy. Um, I don't think drums will bring me joy. <laughs> oh my god! Um, Speaking of grandchildren, okay. uh, yes. So on Friday, um, we welcomed, uh, and I wrote on Facebook earlier, uh, not second best, but second to arrive. Um, Haley Jade was born. At three thirty, and I was pho- uh, photographing a quince uh, in Mesa with uh, Brandy, who, who we both know, and Suzette. And so, um, yeah, it was uh, it was a little bit of a mix. And uh, now I am helping with taking care of Haley Jade. Mm. Uh, but luckily, I will contest that um, I'm in a couple of the groups where, uh, thank you. Um, I'm in a couple of the groups of where it would not bring me joy. You would have to sit on the outside of the door or I will let you sit inside and I will go outside. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Um, oh, Facebook groups. Uh, Cause you know, like you get in these Facebook groups and they're like, oh, la di da, I got stuff for free. And you're like, is this real? Um, Because, you know, you hear the horror stories about, like, you know, sometimes they don't have it or sometimes it's the wrong thing or sometimes it's a creepy person trying to sell something, whatever. Um, So there were uh, a couple of groups that I posted, uh, Gilbert, because I live out here, um, that um, I didn't want to pay per se, but um, I was trying to get something fast. And so... um, asked for a whole bunch of stuff and people were like, oh, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. Oh, I just got rid of this. So you can have that. And um, pretty much um, I think she's all set. I have quite a bit of diapers, but those can go quickly. So let me not get too Yeah, excited. diapers are like, that's like, they're gone in <laughs> two days. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, that was excellent. Um what else? We got some swaddlers, swaddlers, mm-hmm. um, that you can. It's easier than trying to keep the, you know, the blanket and mm-hmm. trying to f- figure it all out. Uh, but I could do that too. But um, some blankets. We got some onesies and all kinds of stuff because, um, like, three or four people were like, "Hey, I have all this stuff. Just come get it." Nice. Um, and a lady had had a newborn in October, and so she was, she was like, "He's grown out of these." And I was like, "Oh," she was like, "Do you mind if they're boy clothes?" I was like, "I don't care." Uh, clothes have no gender. <laughs> I was like, "I don't care." So we got some stuff with footballs on it. And I'm like, "She could like football." 
Um, anyhow, so, um, and for a couple of days, um, Scott's sister was here. So the sister-in-law was a huge help, um, oh, reducing some of that stress. Um, <clears throat> though it does like get to you. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, you have a newborn in the house. Like, well, mm. and she sleeps primarily, so it's not too bad. It's just waking up every two to three hours. <sighs> yes. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm good. Are you yeah. sure? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, and then yesterday, uh, she slept wonderfully. Um, when I was, uh, this was my first guest appearance on a podcast in a while, I think. I don't think I've done one. Hmm. I can't remember. Um, but it was my first podcast appearance for, or any kind of appearance, um, for 2023. Um, one of my goals, and I think we both kind of have this goal, is to um, do more speaking engagements. And mm-hmm. I feel like um, we both kind of conquer that world very, uh, very well. And so I said, what if that was one of my goals? And so um, the last week of December, I was kind of chasing that, kind of seeing if I could get some hooks in. And so, yeah, that was my first one. And um, it's called Melanin Muses Podcast. Ooh. Um, and so they'll let me know when they are done editing the episode um, and then when the release date will be. So nice. shout out to them. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff. How was your weekend? Um, pretty chill, actually. Uh, we had um, our niece's <sighs> first birthday was on Saturday. Oh. And I don't know if it's. It, this may just be me, but every time I'm around like, like, f- like family type people, like extended family kind of thing that like are super conservative, it makes me just want to be really gay. Mm, like, I just turn it way the fuck so up. Much. Every fucking person there was wearing a shirt that had something to do with guns, the flat, like it was. Uh, like, guns? like. Like, like one dude. Did it have like squirrels and guns? N- no, it was like one dude was wearing a shirt that said something like, uh, "Like load, empty, mm-hmm. smile, repeat, something like that." And I'm like, uh, that sounds very gay, right? Like they're all like <laughs> uh, super load, conservative. Smile, and I'm like, repeat. I just wanted to go in there and just be as gay as fucking possible. Like I hate that shit. but yeah hi marissa i can see your name this week oh you did something different exciting um and then after that we drove to the asian market because it needed a few things and we did an early birthday dinner at happy bow oh so she had a birthday dinner Mm -hmm. um and then we went home, we watched Star Wars, trying to drown out the fucking fireworks because my dog spent the entire night, like, we, we drugged him and he was, yeah, he was, like, shaking the entire fucking night. Um, entire fucking okay. night. Okay, so this year, I think that the fireworks were a little bit excessive. Um, meaning, okay, so... Let me say this, because I know that people are going to be like, I swear you set off fireworks. I do, but it's usually not these big, uh, they're like the ones that like when you go to the the parks and watch people like at the end of the game, those go off. These were going off in our neighborhood. Yeah, we've had some big ones. It's bullshit. It's a couple Absolute of car bullshit. alarms kept be... going off. Yeah, fucking stupid. I hate that shit. And I'm sorry, but if you are the person that sets off fireworks in a residential area, you're an asshole. Plain and simple. You are I'm an a asshole. A little bit of an asshole. But... Not up for debate. Um, Cassandra, we go between H Mart and Mekong. Um, Happy Bow is at Mekong, so that's where we were. Um, and then uh, we played some like we played some card games and then we rented or we bought, I guess, everything everywhere all at once. No, we rented because we got showtime. So we're thanks. Whatever. Uh, everything everywhere all at once, which we've oh, been meaning to watch forever. Oh my God. 
if Michelle Yeoh does not win an Oscar for this, then Ooh. it's complete bullshit. It Ooh. was so good. And I think, uh, what's his name who plays her husband is up for uh, a couple of awards as well. Um, he played Data on the Goonies. Mm. He's Wow. He was absolutely phenomenal. Like, the whole fucking movie was so fucking good. All of it. Absolutely good. Ab- like, just brilliant. Um, Sunday... We took down all the rest of the decorations, had a small sort of impromptu game night that you're like, eh, we don't work on Mondays, so why don't we just have a couple of folks over? That was what Ben Havoc, if anybody saw Ben Havoc's post yeah, about he was talking the about Tobbler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, we had oh. them over and Brandon McGill and just had a small, super small little game night. I made mm-hmm. longevity noodles, uh, Singaporean chili oh. shrimp. And then the cobbler and oh. Ben brought over ceviche and lumpia. It was really good. Oh. And then Monday, since we didn't have anything to do, we organized um, the bedroom. We had like a, a dresser that was in the storage part of the drag cave. We took that out, put it in the bedroom so I could rearrange a whole bunch of shit in the closet and put blankets and like vacuum bags and stuff. Just organizing basically is all we did. That's yeah. mm. so. Nothing crazy, super yeah. chill. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm feeding the baby, I have turned into this weird person. Um, I can't get myself organized, but I have a fascination of watching, uh, what is her name? Uh, Marie Kondo? Yeah, that. Marie and Antoinette. Marie. No, the first one. Um, and then I watched the home edit and... Um, <clears throat> And then I'm thinking, oh my god, that would be so fun. And they had this one room that looked exactly like my drag room. And I was like, isn't that amazing? But it took them like eight hours to do it. <laughs> so... <laughs> right. And so I was like, like, oh, we can do this in about an hour or so. And then one thing leads to something and then leads to something else and then leads to something else. And then you're like, fuck, okay, it's been eight hours and I've done nothing. Now I can't do any of this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so ugh, I watch those and then I think I come in here and I go, mm mm. Mm mm. I wish I could afford to hire someone um my um, my problem with doing that is that someone would come in and organize my stuff and then i wouldn't know where anything is anymore well see the thing about the home edit they label things and or they give like things like categories mm. and then um but then i'm like the but that home- doesn't go there <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> That's the wrong category. That doesn't, I don't like that label. I don't know if I would do that. Um, I did think that I would put some things like gowns and tubs, um, like vacuum sealed tubs or something. But other than that, that's as far as I got. Cause I was like, I don't know. Everything brings me joy. (laughs) (laughs) You never know. All right. So on to, this is again, a warning. A warning, oh if you are offended by things like fake penises, podcast, um, underwear, and pictures of me in, good... in underwear, this is your opportunity to go away. Because um, I am going to do a review of oh, a couple of um, STPs, uh, which are... You're um, welcome. You're welcome. Which are Stantipede devices. Um, and, uh, the, some of the cake bandit, um, undies and stuff that kind of go along with them. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, but I needed to kind of, I need to get a couple things first. So, um, all of the things that I'm going to be, um, that I'm going to be, uh, mm, depending on talking, the um, all the things that I'm going to be talking about tonight are products that can be found at transguysupply.com. Um, they are trans owned and operated. They carry STPs, packers, packing gear, binders, all sorts of stuff. Can you say the um, website again? It's transguysupply.com. It's on the show sheet. Oh. <laughs> I am. Sorry. Um, they carry uh, quite a few different types of STPs. Um, 
longer ones, shorter ones, cut, uncut, different styles, different colors to match skin tones. Um, no on their website, website. <laughs> on their um, on their website, uh, they carry one called the Sport STP, and I'm just gonna throw this right out there right now. Don't get it; it's awful. It's fucking terrible. The, that was my very very first STP ever years ago. Um, I hate the design. Don't recommend it at all. It's messy. Just it make it. Just don't do it. It's like it. It's terrible. Um, the just just don't do it. Um, so the two that I'll be talking about tonight um, can both be found on their website. One is called the STP Freely, and the other is the STP Freely XL. Um, I'm also going to be uh, talking about the Cake Bandit STP Undies. Um, their briefs, their boxer briefs, their jock, and their STP harness. Oh, so, cute. Can you say I'm that? just going to preface this with everything being washed and clean and sterilized. So just, I'm going to throw that out there. Okay, so first up, we have the STPs. Um, this up. is the Freely. Oh, yeah. There you go. And in comparison, this is the Freely XL. Oh, dang. Now, they, it looks big. This is actually, um, uh, it's only a, like, this four inches. This one is five. So it's not, there's really not that big of a difference, all considering. The, um, the cup, so this part of it is the mm -hmm. same on both. It's four inches. They're both made from medical grade silicone. Um, they're both like bendy and pliable. Even the bigger one is bendy and pliable. Um, now, the difference is okay, so the Freely, which is the smaller one, so this guy retails for $45 on their website. <clears throat> and the shaft from basically from here to here is four inches underneath um it's three inches on the bottom it's not as girthy um it's a little bit smaller um and like it's not gonna average. give you right yeah um you could get someone uh you could get an stp for someone as a gift if you knew what they were looking for i'm um, not buying you one no, <laughs> it's fine um the xl is a little bit bigger um it's five inches um from the top of the shaft um and then four and a half on the bottom you can see that the the balls are a little bit bigger um and it's going to give you a bigger bulge um it also has an optional insertable rod um oh. which is great for pack and play so basically it slips in here and it gives you a stiffer stiffy basically um for mm -hmm. play purposes um the uh the rod is also silicone um it's not uh it's not like stiff stiff um it's a it's a firmer silicone so it has a little bit of give um and it can actually be used uh with the freely as well but again the freely is smaller so i mean if you're not big on like excessive penetration then that'll totally work um <laughs> it's fine all right so those are the two stps i'll be talking about those um each different ones i have um, um a question yes um for those that don't know how do you wear an stp so different stps uh would be worn differently depending on the design so with this style of stp um obviously this area is going to sit flat up against uh where your uh genitals are obviously your urethra should be in this general direction area up here mm -hmm. um and then that's as far as the back part that's where it will sit um but the packing gear and things like that will also make a difference on where things sit as well so let me get to that. So um, on Trans Guy Supply, um, they have a, a brand called Cake Bandit. And Cake Bandit has like regular underwear, they have packing underwear, and they have STP underwear. 
Um, I've tried all the different types of STP underwear except for the swim trunks. And there are pros and cons to all of them. So I'm going to talk about the, the different ones. Um, first up is the harness. And this is not, this can be used as a play harness, but it's elastic. So keep that in mind. So this is the STP harness. Mm -hmm. um, the pros is it can be used with either the Freely or the XL. And you can use it under any underwear. Um, it comes in black and it comes in different um, skin tones as well. There's light all the way up to dark brown. Um, the cons on this. So there shouldn't be any trap liquid. If there's trap liquid, there's something wrong. Like because uh, I think what they're referring to is like when you when you pee in the STP, mm -hmm. um, could there be remaining liquid inside? Like, do um, excessive amounts? It'll be like a little bit, but it's not enough to make any sort of a difference. Like, it's not enough to do anything. Like, it, it, you have to make sure that you shake it to get everything out. Um, so hmm. the cons on this is that the stitching can come loose if you only have one and you wear it a lot. You can see that I've already had to kind of re-stitch a couple of areas because the stitching was starting to come loose. Um, and that's from and general wear and tear? That's from general wear and tear. Um, hmm. I would recommend if you go that route to get a couple of them or just be prepared to have to stitch a couple things if you wear them all the time. Um, and if, depending on if it's warm out because it's just elastic, like all of it's elastic, um, it can chafe if you start getting, uh, sweaty, Especially but the way that these fit in here is actually pretty cool. Um, this is, this has been, uh, my go-to. So the way that this fits is this will fit in. And I've got pictures and stuff that I will show you later. So it would fit in like this. And then the way that that is right there, once you're wearing it, this will tuck in like so. Oh, like a chastity belt. Kind of. So you'd be wearing it. And then when you wanted to use it, you would just pull this part out. This part stays in to keep it, you know, and then you just use it that way. Um, so that is the harness. Um, I have a question. Like, yes. So I know they're primarily made for AFAB individuals. Correct. Can AMAB individuals buy these? Because there are AMAB individuals that have... Um, like you know. a micro penis or something similar? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if, if you are an AMAB individual and you... Um, you do have uh, something like a micro penis or something along those lines. You can absolutely use an STP. Um, there are different ones, though, that might work better. Because if you are AMAB, the difference is, is that you have testicles. Uh. So um, there are different STPs out there that don't have testicles, um, that don't have the 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 balls portion of it um, that are actually designed for trans guys who have had um, either a larger, uh, more growth than, you know, more than average growth or who have had like a, a metoidioplasty. Um, mm -hmm. And they're designed to basically just fit. It's just the shaft portion of it. And it's designed to fit more over um, the, the, the meta. So if you are a, a, a cis man or an amab individual who does happen to have a micro penis and you would like something with a little bit more length to be able to use a urinal or whatever i would recommend um finding one that does not have the the balls on it because that would probably work a little bit better mm. okay so boxer briefs i love the name by the way cake, the bandit. cake bandit yeah. so all of the cake bandit stp stuff have the same sort of design in that, um, so, um, actually, let me show you on the briefs. So, those are the boxer briefs. These are the briefs. Oh, cute little buttons. And the this is the, the jock. So, with the STP, 
undies. They all have the same basic design. So in the back, there's like this little pouch, basically. So mm -hmm. the way that it would work. And I, like I said, I have pictures and I will show you what things look like in a minute. So what would what you would do is <laughs> this would mm. oh god um this would D fit D can confirm that it makes the butt look good all of them so this will fit through here like so and the idea is that the cup portion of it will fit outside that little pouch. Mm -hmm. And then this will bloop, tuck in here and then you would button around it and that's how it would sit. Um, now, <clears throat> oh boxer gosh, briefs. I'm such a last minute P person. That would take me forever. So with the boxer briefs, the pros on them is that they are comfy you're going to have less chafing because they come down a little bit further on the thighs. Um, the cons is that because they are boxer briefs and there's more material, they don't work great for the XL. Um, and I recommend on all the things to size down um, because I would normally wear like a medium. So I got a medium and the mediums were too big. Things were flopping all over the place. Um, they weren't mm. staying put. Um, and there was some, you know, issues. And when I actually emailed the company, he actually sent me a couple, um, he sent me a pair of the boxer briefs and he sent me, a, a jock in the small, the smalls work much better. So size down is what I would recommend. Um, the, uh, another of the cons, and this is a, the cons are basically the same for all of them, except for, um, for both the briefs and the boxer briefs, um, except for the, uh, the jock, um, the, pocket in the back that area that opening can stretch which can cause things to kind of fall out the back and slip and not be because the idea is that those balls are supposed to fit in there and kind of use it as like and hold it right and stay but with it. because and especially with the freely because the freely doesn't have the balls that are as big as the xl that mm -hmm. these can slip out oh. so and then you end up with it sideways and a little bit wonky and and it it, it it's it's a kind of a pain in the ass and it's, it's, ugh. I will say um, as a map individual, sometimes that does happen. Um, except that <laughs> the problem is, is that then you have the whole thing sliding over instead of just, Oh, one part I don't need all that. Right. <laughs> um, with the briefs, the pros on the briefs is that because they are briefs, they will hold the STP closer to you, uh, which means there's going to be less wiggle room um, and less of a chance for them to move or fall out. It's mm -hmm. better for the XL, but still not great. And it's because of that damn pocket that can kind of stretch. And like, I don't know if they need to do like a, um, if it needs to be like a tight, like elastic or something, there's something in the design of it. So um, that um, needs to, you know, I don't. Um, so like in male uh, focused underwear, mm -hmm. they have, like this hole that sometimes that you're supposed to put your penis through. Right. Is that in there? Is there like so, double and four? No. What? So I saw what you did and I saw the underwear, but is there like a double? Cause in yes. some of the underwear. So, okay. So there's that, right. You have that part mm -hmm. of it. Right. And then you have on the inside, there's a smaller one where the shaft goes through. So the balls sit in this pocket. So like some the of my shaft underwear, goes through that here. hole is more reinforced. And then, right. And then it would open there yeah. for you to pee. Um, what I'm talking about is they probably need to reinforce that hole just a little It's not even better. this so much. It's It's seriously, it's this part because this is what things fall out of. Oh. So this needs to be tighter. And what I've actually done on a pair of the briefs is I've actually stitched it smaller. Well, maybe they do cotton, that because so they have to accommodate all sizes. Right. So that may be something to keep in mind if you get the briefs or the boxer briefs. Um, that 
you know, if you get something like that, I would recommend stitching this smaller because this is going to stretch because it's cotton. So if you if you stitch it, it'll still stretch enough to be able to tuck the balls in, but it'll keep them from falling out. Nobody wants the- sideway balls. You're right, Susan. Um, yeah. Oh, it is Brandon so McGill's much. birthday. <laughs> yes. Um, Happy birthday, Brandon. So um, I did get the jock. So this is the jock, which has the same design in the back with everything. But because it's a jock strap, it... So far, this one's my favorite. Um, out of all the out of all of the the things that I've tried between the harness, the boxer briefs, the briefs, and the jock strap, the jock strap so far is my favorite. Um, it holds the SDP closer to the body. It can be used with any underwear. So if you want to wear this and then wear underwear on top of it, you can. Um, or it can be worn by itself. Um, but it has less wiggle room. Again, size down. And you may still need to stitch that pocket in the back um, shut a little bit more. Um, but I, on the so size, far, uh, right? What? Depending what? on the size of what Depending you on the size. But I think the size is pretty standard. Um, and it's weird because the, S, the, the XL actually fits better because the balls are, are bigger. Mm-hmm. But it... Well, they can still slide out, but that freely, the regular freely, because the balls aren't as big, those can pop out super easy. Um, all right, let me see if this works. So I took some pictures. Um, I don't endorse anything that you may be terrified from. Let me see. Or need counseling for. Um, Future therapy. Hang on. Or Oop. medication. Let me see if I can figure this out here. Hang on. I thought you did figure it out. I thought I did too. Hang on. But when I did the thing, it didn't give me the option to share what I was trying to share. So. Dick. <sighs> hang on. Right. Dinner. All right. That's not in the calendar. If I can get this Promise. to work. Um, okay. All right. So. No. Oh, wait a minute. It's over. I don't see it. Hang on. I didn't get it. I think. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. So this is. Let me know if you can see it. Yeah. You can turn it on. Okay. So again, (laughs) if you're offended by pictures of me in the underwear, whatever. So we know that's you. Oh my God. So (laughs) this is the briefs. So you can, I took them with the Freely and the Freely XL. I took them um, with the briefs by themselves under jeans and then under like looser pants that like joggers with a completely different material. Um, so you can I like see. Those pants. <laughs> you like those? I got those at Comic Con. Um, so with the Freely, you can see that the, the bulge isn't that big and it's a little bit <laughs> higher. With the Freely XL, um, the Freely XL, the bulge is a little bit bigger. And it hangs a little bit lower because they are heavier. Um, mm. With the under the jeans, though, there's not too much of a difference. Um, if uh, if the jeans are tighter when you sit down, that's when you're going to see the biggest difference in the bulges, especially with the XL. Mm. And then with the um, with the joggers little bit of a bulge, not too crazy. Um, m- definitely a more obvious bulge with the XL. Um, keep in mind, if you are wearing the briefs, the boxer briefs, or the jock by themselves, that there are buttons on the, the, the front of them. So if you want a smooth, like, silhouette, you're not going to have it. Like, so if you're wearing tighter pants of a material that oh, is you're not have the denim show through. you'll <laughs> see the the outline of the buttons um okay so this is the harness this is the harness um that i wore underneath my uh a, a pair of chonies because nobody wants to see just the harness um you can see that the bulge is completely different with yeah. the harness um, and it's because it squishes it more because of the way that it tucks into the front. Uh. So the bulge is barely noticeable 
um, using the freely and as a little bit more noticeable, but not crazy um, using the XL under the chonies. Um, again, mm -hmm. hardly noticeable under the jeans um, in both instances, really. And then same thing with the, uh, with the joggers. Um, and the reason being is because with the, um, with the like with the with the briefs and stuff once this gets tucked in this just kind of gets tucked down and it's the material that holds it so it's not as flat it just kind of sits there whereas once you use it with the um once you use the the harness it gets more squished because there's that elastic piece that kind of flattens everything so it's a very different bulge um that's real to life then uh then you know but it again it, it all depends on what aesthetic you're looking for and then i took this because this is with the um this is with the jock um underneath a pair of chonies um so you can see what that looked like so this is the freely and you can see it's a small bulge nothing crazy um mm -hmm. definitely a bigger bulge with the um with the XL, but you can see the buttons. So again, keep that in mind. Um, if you want that smooth, mm -hmm. you know, silhouette under pants or whatever, then do they sell them without buttons? No, because the buttons is what keeps everything in. If you lose that button, there's nothing to the shaft can just come popping out, which yeah, you don't want that. Um, <laughs> because, you know, and because it is stiffer, if that shaft comes popping out, you're going to look like you have a really awkward boner. So you need to keep that in mind because this is it's it's a thick silicone. Like it's not like that's not mm. skinny. Like, you know what I mean? It's not thin. It's a thicker, solid silicone. Um, so, you know, just but that being said. Whew. Um, that being said, I definitely recommend, um, any of the, the, their products. Um, yes, the designs when it comes to, um, the, like the, the, the briefs and the boxer briefs and things, um, there, mm -hmm. there are still some issues like there, there's still not strong great like there's still definitely some issues um i think there's they you know and in, in talking with the basically the guy that owns the place you know i know they've gone through several different designs with the with the briefs to try and get the ones that everybody seems to like better um one of the other downsides with the briefs is <laughs> they're not cute <laughs> like they're just they're not like they're not they're cute. like old men briefs they're just basic, you know, they just look like briefs. Why you um, so like if you want cute briefs, these are not the ones. Um, but again, they had to make sure that what they had worked for all bodies and these are going to be your best bet. Um, but again, I definitely recommend sizing down. I love um, a good bikini cut if I'm being honest. And that's what I that's that's what I said. I'm like you would think that uh, I actually I think that for the briefs that would probably help is if there yeah. was less material. Um but a, they I guess uh they did have like bikini brief style and people didn't like them. So I mm -hmm. Um, so, but yeah, um, I, I do recommend uh, their STPs especially are, are great. Um, they, uh, whether it's the freely, whether it's the XL, whether it's one of the other ones, again, don't get the fucking sport. Do not get the sport. They're fucking terrible. The design is awful. Like you think it's, you know, it, uh, mm. It's just they don't make any sense. And it's so easy to just don't do it. Um, with any STP, regardless of what you get, what brand, what style, whatever, um, never assume that you can just go out and use it and you're going to be fine. Um, I recommend uh, practicing in the shower. <laughs> um, oh, there you go. So go to STPs. Oh, wait. Where did I move it to? Oh. 
There it is. I don't know. <laughs> and then scroll down. So you can see they have all sorts of different ones. That one right there. The sport and the model E. Sport. Right there. Those two. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see. Um, so those are terrible. Absolutely They're, awful. Would never recommend them. Um, as um, a person that has seen many uh, of an right. anime, this mm -hmm. looks awful. <laughs> uh, right. They look terrible. And the thing is, is that like it, it, it the design just isn't great. Um, it's mm -hmm. very easy to make a mess with those. Um, I don't recommend them at all. Um, most of the others would work fine. What is um, this? That is basically if you are someone that doesn't want like a um, the, uh, I don't know if you heard back in the, uh, the like a shiwi. Oh, a lot of oh, women would get yeah, them at yeah, festivals yeah, yeah. so they could like mm -hmm. use porta potties and not have to worry about sitting down and you know and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So um, these are fairly good prices. No, they are. They're very reasonably priced. Um, yeah, totally reasonably priced. Um, and the fact that the, uh, like the, the, the cup on all of them, um, is wide is what helps prevent things like spillage. Um, but I've used both of these and I've never had an accident, but again, practice, you have to fucking practice. You have to fucking practice. Um, you can't just, you know, go out and and because you have to figure out where things go and how things sit and you know so practice at home practice in the shower that way if you make a mess uh it's you know less of a, a, a deal um and just so everybody knows i am doing this of my own volition there is no like i don't get any kickback for anything i should but i don't um but oh, let me take this off the screen now um, but I'm <laughs> like, kidding. people are always asking me about like, what's a good STP, what's a, you know, and again, for folks that are into like sort of the pack and play, um, don't forget that you can uh, get the little rod too, which gives you a little bit of, you know, so you can do things, do things. um, but yeah, so there you go. For anybody that might be interested, anybody that has, you know, trans friends or whatever. Ta-da. I don't know any trans people. No, I'm the <laughs> only one. <laughs> oh, it's a lie, lie, lie. Speaking <laughs> of lies, um, let's go into the news. Um, <laughs> why is that the first one? Um, You're welcome. <laughs> Edward Norton's 12th great grandmother, and I hate that they use the name, uh, po is Pocahontas. <sighs> it's been proven. It's proven, but okay, I'll read this and then I'll tell you what I saw. Um, and that his third great grandfather owned slaves, including a 55 year old man, 37 year old woman, and five young girls. The comments I have seen online, oh God, have been I want to say hilarious because they're mm. very they're not very attacky. They're very much like, okay, what are we supposed to do with this information? <laughs> well, it's one of those things he he found it because if you read like some of the like the articles about it and stuff, uh -huh. like as far as the whole Pocahontas thing, he's like, huh, that's interesting, whatever. like he doesn't. He's like, it's just, it's interesting to have that connection. And he as also far as said, his... he also oh, said, ahead. if you're uncomfortable with it, you should be uncomfortable with it. Right. Um, he said that specifically about his great, 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 great grandfather owning slaves. Um, mm -hmm. Because he was like, that, that didn't sit right. And he's like, but there's nothing that I can do about it. It's not me. It's acknowledging and understanding and using it as a teachable moment. Um, Cause he's like, like nobody wants to know that they're okay. Well, don't say nobody. Cause I know there are people out there that'd be like, whoopee. Um, most people would not be comfortable knowing that someone in their direct lineage was a slave owner. Well, I've seen it all the time. Like people say, Oh no, no, no. My family couldn't have done that. Right. And it's like, like, no, do a little yeah. digging. Do a little digging, yeah. especially if you have ties to anybody in the South. 
like mm-hmm. mm. um but he's like it it that's when he was like if it makes you uncomfortable good you should be uncomfortable because it's an uncomfortable thing um yeah. but that was an interesting <laughs> piece of you know wtf news there uh the house still doesn't have a speaker because mccarthy has now lost for a sixth vote I mean, what do they say? Keep trying until you can't try no more. Right. It's a um, fucking shit up. show in Washington right now. And it's kind of funny because, like, even the Republicans are like, mm, no. Yes. <laughs> uh, so one thing that I did not put on here, you did such a fine job putting all this together. Because um, uh, some days I have mental breakdowns. But um, can we talk about George Santos? What mm. specifically? <laughs> so, why on the green planet have we allowed this person to continue to say lie after lie after lie after lie? Things that are proven, things that he's admitted, things that have gone on and on. And then people are like, well, it, he can stay. And I'm like, okay, well. I don't get it because we were ready to kick Obama out because we thought he had a fake birth certificate. But this guy is like legit lying to you. He was called a liar on the House floor during like the first day. Like (laughs) that. Like nobody is saying like the obvious. And then there's like other things that people are like pulling out. They're like, hey, what about this? When he was not in a higher polit, you know, he was like, you know, running for something else. And I'm like, so he's lied his whole career. Yep. He's gotten away with going on and saying, oh, I can do this. Oh, no, I can't. Just kidding. I did not graduate from that school. Um, so, like, how how is this possible? Like, we can't even get people that are qualified to run, but we get pseudo-qualified people, and they get to it's stay? So it, it's like, so if you read some of these things, it's like... So, hi, Victor. The the New York Times um, had an article that alleged that a large portion of uh, Santos' biography could not be substantiated, um, alleging that he misled voters about his level of education, previous jobs, family ties to the Holocaust. His last name is Santos. What fucking Holocaust? Bitch. Uh, (laughs) Are you kidding me right now? Like... He, I guess, embellished parts of his resume. Um, so like, have you ever have you ever been at the party? You've been at some kind of party, and you walk in a room, and you hear the you hear this person. You can hear them. Maybe they're on the the back patio or whatever, and you hear them over and over. And you're like, okay, I recognize that voice. And you hear them telling all these lavish things about mm. themselves, and you know. And then you walk up and you're like, bitch, you are none of those things. Right. And they're like, oh, hold on, don't tell people at the party that he is that guy. Is he not? Yeah. He also, so he spoke at a Republican Jewish coalition's meeting oh, in November bad. and then denied go. that he had previously claimed he was Jewish. His last name is Santos. <laughs> okay. His last name is. Sa- <laughs> I never claimed to be Jewish. He said, okay. Uh, oh my gosh. I can't. He said, no, 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 no. Get this, get this, get this, get this. Okay. He said, I never claimed to be Jewish. I'm Catholic. Because I learned my maternal family had a Jewish background, I said I was Jewish. Jewish. Like Jew hyphen I S H. Jewish. What? What are you? I don't... <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Hi, Javier. Oh I don't my even. Gosh. I don't. Like. It gives me like creepy car salesman vibe. So, um, how do these people? How are these people even eligible? We to run keep for electing office? them. We how? keep electing them when people don't read or they say, "Oh, I'm picking somebody random." Don't say you don't do it because I know there's people that are like, "I don't know who these people are," so I just circled in somebody. So, um, yeah, that's how they keep coming through, and he's 
literally told you I'm a liar, but then we keep giving him like the walkway and saying, okay, go on. Okay, you lied to us. It's fine. Go on. And, and is he a part of our community? Uh, no. No. I, he, no. Um, also, apparently, he's uh, he's been charged with fraud in Brazil uh, because he's been writing hot checks, but he said he's not a criminal there. However, uh, this week, the Brazilian authorities um, said that they were reviving their case against him now that they knew where he was. <laughs> I, I can't what the fuck like the republic like it it's kind of funny almost to kind of sit back and watch the republican party just implode because what the fuck i so i, I have no i have no words for this shit i don't even know i don't even know <laughs> I just I keep just... reading all this stuff and I'm like, okay, so we we keep reporting that he is a liar. Where are right. the like remove him from office? No, we don't care. We don't we don't care. And part of it honestly is I I almost We're burnt think out. that I almost think that the like the Democrats are just kind of letting this shit happen. Because all it's doing is shining a massive spotlight on how corrupt and backwards and full of shit the Republican Party is right now. Like, all of Mm -hmm. this shit keeps happening, and the Democrats are just like... (laughs) While everything just goes to shit in Washington. And it's like, uh, on the one hand, it's it's kind of brilliant strategy, because they're just like... We don't even have to do anything. They're they're digging their own grave, like the. <laughs> it's yeah, because every day I wake up and yeah. I'm like, it's unbelievable. I don't. How I don't did even... that happen? How, how did this happen? Um, do we know what's going on with January sixth at all? Um, it's all over. As the we place. reach I the can't... anniversary. I can't keep up with all of it right now. Like, cause there's, there's so many little things happening. Like I know texts were just released that, mm. uh, but I, I need to sit down at some point and look at the most current, like breakdown Report. of it all, because there's so many things I can't keep track of all of it right now. So I was like, give me D- one thing that this is what's happening. Like there's so oh, much to look to see if the Trump mess. taxes were released. Oh, they should have been last Friday. Uh, The Ukraine um, has downed more than 540 Iranian-made drones since September. And uh, Mm. surprise, surprise, uh, they're finding that the drones are made with parts from more than a dozen U.S. companies. No way. Shocker. Oh my god, I can't believe oh, it. Surprise. The US? No supplying way. Supplying people with weapons of mass destruction and things? We don't do that. No way. We've never Six done years that. Of taxes. Um, <laughs> what did I just read? That Donald Trump just paid $750 in federal income tax? Oh. Uh, Shannon says that the committee, the January 6th committee, made four criminal referrals against Trump to the DOJ before they were disbanded. Mm. Why were they disbanded? W- weren't they done once the report is l- released? Mm. But they need that shit. They, uh, people need to go to prison. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why this has been going on for so fucking long. Like, send people to prison. Like, real people to prison. Like, yes, send the terrorists that were there, but also send the people that turned a blind eye, ignored shit, encouraged it. Like, send them to fucking prison, because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking over it. I'm so fucking done. Like, oh, they need a new committee. Uh, <laughs> start over. Um, start over. Let's see. What gigs do we have coming up, Felicia? Um, so on January 14th, uh, we have Sex Trivia Night at Gracie's Tax Bar. And I've got some good <sighs> new questions that I have to add for that. Oh. 
do it soon. Do it soon. Um, and then January 21st, you're at Three Fates, which is at a new venue, Cash uh, Nightclub at 10 p.m. Get your, mm-hmm. get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets. That'll be interesting. Um, I haven't been back to the cash since they fucked us over. I'm not legally allowed to talk about that, but you can. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, January 22nd, I will be at Magic at Stacy's. Um, that I can talk about. Um, <laughs> make your reservations, make your reservations, because this is all a business, y'all. All the clubs want us to bring them money. I'm so sorry to say that. Mm -hmm. Um, And when they don't see reservations or things, then they make their own assumptions and things. Speaking of reservations, um, I'm also uh, going to be at Elsie's final, uh, Lady Christian's final show at The Rock on January 28th. It is now currently sold out. Oh, damn. Uh, So if you haven't gotten a table, there might be a few random seats left if you show up but um there are a couple of seats left at our table but not very many um but yeah like it's done it's sold out so you snooze you Mm. lose sorry y'all everybody better you know be there and you know be loud about it so Um, upcoming guests um on the 18th is that in a couple weeks oh my god oh wow um we have Kathy Blaze, host, entertainer, and actor. And then on the 15th, we have Kevin Carrier, uh, a comedian. And then on February 22nd, we have Holly Shoemaker, photographer hey, I know and her. artist. We both have worked with her. Um, and then March 8th, we have uh, Miss Phoenix Pride, Desiree A. De Mornay. I know her too. <laughs> two out of four ain't bad. It's fine. No idea who uh, the other two people are. It's we fine. have some others in the works and i'll try not to book on top of the dates that freddie has offered to other people um the thing is i am not used to doing this with you i'm used to just you know plucking people in and then there they are um (laughs) but um i have to delegate i have to let go i have Mm. way too much going on um (laughs) Oh, my life right now. Um, Yeah. So if you have any guest suggestions, keyword here, suggestions. If you suggest a name to me, don't say that. Why haven't they been on the show? Because that's not fair to them or to me. Mm. Suggestions. Okay. Suggestions. Let us know. Send us a message um, and we'll see if that fits our, our rhyme and reason on the show because mm. uh, we do we get make sure that if you suggest somebody that there's someone that's like entertaining and gonna talk that's what i was gonna say because some people or they beg me and then they get on the show and they're what what are we right. here for are we here for right. this is right. this a show so, so don't, do don't don't <laughs> let your friends do that and on that note thank you for tuning in for your wednesday night conversation Uh, Thank you to all who watch live and watch on the replay. And with more than 7,000 downloads, thank you to those that listen on the podcast. Uh, We will see you next week for your Wednesday Night Conversation. Good Good night. night.